car with Tanny. We, we're getting some errands done today, and I have just picked up a snack of this one pound apple. Bam! <laughs> They're all in season around here, and it was just making me think this. Why do people on a raw, low-fat, raw vegan diet, low-fat, high-carb, more raw every day vegan diet, go back to the dang cooked sad food? Sad standing for standard American diet or standard crappy diet wherever you live. Why is this? First of all, let's talk about that apple. What if I was to juice that apple? How much would I have to fill me up and sustain me for the next little bit? Not a whole lot because when you take the fiber out, you take out some vital nutrition and nutrients and also sustainability, blood sugar balancing components of the whole apple. You know what I'm saying? I'm more on board with taking the apple and blending it with some spinach and a little coconut water. Bam! But the thing is, when you take that out, I was just talking to someone about this, you don't have a lot left. And if you're a person with, really it could cause blood sugar issues. I am a, a supporter of juicing, but I like green juice. I like getting the wheatgrass juice, the punch of the nutrient power, pure liquid infusion of nutrients. The thing about it is when you eat the whole apple, you get it as nature intended, you know? There's a reason it comes in that package, do you think? But I want to talk to you about when people fall off the, the wagon. And I'm not really talking about talking to people that, um, I want to talk to the people that, that are wanting to do a low-fat raw vegan. Are they on a high-carb very high raw diet and they want to be more raw every day but they yet they keep being pulled back into their same patterns why is that and furthermore it's not just for those people that's the topic but if you keep even if you're trying to go vegetarian and you keep falling back into the chili at Wendy's that's got meat in there, why do we do it? What is keeping us from getting to the next step? Well, if you are trying to do a low-fat raw vegan diet, there's several potholes that you could trip in and it could cause you to fall flat on your face. I see this with people a lot of times that I have experienced this with myself. Until now that I feel like I'm so solid in this lifestyle, nothing can shake me off my ground. And that is a good place to be. You don't feel like you're pulled between this way and that way, depending on who's telling you what that day and then the next day. You realize what works with you and you realize you feel like a whole healthy, happy, balanced person, you know? So the first reason, you know, we could be falling off and what happens, what is bad, is when people try to go on a low-fat, raw, vegan diet and they fall off of it back into the cooked and then they're, they're eating really, really refined cooked, you know, they're eat, and, and then next thing we know, it's like as long as you're eating a, a donut, it's okay as long as it's carbs. Uh, that I'm not getting. I'm not understanding why you didn't have a vegetable soup that you made with the base of sweet potatoes blending it to a creamy existence and okay yes you cooked it and you lost some enzymes but you still got a big nutritional hit and guess what you can climb right back the ladder up from that but you have a hard time when you're back to the vegan toy toys that we consider food or you are to um the sad diet or whatever or you've totally binged you've gone through hardies and then on your way home you went by burger king nobody knew and you knew you were doing it and you were of the mindset i'll begin tomorrow yet again why does it happen one thing is you don't understand what you're doing we don't have enough knowledge. I, I talk to people all the time and I feel like they're gonna have a, a base knowledge of this lifestyle and when I get diving deeper into to their situation, they really don't. And I can give them some basic tips and tricks and they're like, oh, you make it seem so simple. That's because it is. When you do it right, it is simple and you don't continue to fall off again and again. They're not doing it right. They're not getting enough calories from fruit during the day. Furthermore, coupling your fruit, of course, with the, the fiber that belongs in it and packing in the greens every dang day to combine with your fruit, throwing in a little chia seeds so that you're whole, happy, and satisfied all day long. You've gotten your nutrition and your calories and your carbs from the fruit. You've backed it with the the 
power punch of greens and you've balanced your brain with some omega-3 fatty acids from the chia seeds that furthermore swell up in the stomach nine times their size and create a hearty feeling in your guts and furthermore pulls out toxins what more can you want right but that's not even the main thing they can get that under their belt, okay? And people can get under their belt eating enough fruit, though they don't understand why they're not satisfied and they're still hungry because they're not incorporating greens in there. The psychological feeling of emptiness or the psychological feeling of missing X, whatever it is. You didn't get to bake gingerbread cookies with your, your granny gums, okay? So have something else, you know? The thing is, there's ways to make yourself feel sustained and satisfied on this lifestyle without having to go back to the same thing that you keep doing. Let's pull over so we can discuss this, okay, because this is an issue. So, something feels empty about it. It is because we are typically used to masking our emotions with food. You know what I mean? You're okay all day long, even if you're getting on the green smoothies like I've suggested, and you've got your greens, you've got your chia, you've got your, your plenty of calories from fruit, you've got a lot of water, you've got breathement, you, you, breathement, you've got breathing, you've got movement, you have calming your stress level, you have all those things intact. You get home from work, you had a snack, you had a little fruit, you're still doing good, it gets to dinner. And then you know what happens? Bam! It pulls you right back down every dang day. That is because we are used to droning down our emotions and our settling ourselves down with a sort of settlement of heavy food. The kind of food that takes all of your body's vital force to digest that and therefore takes the priority off your mental thinking and focusing. Do you see what I mean? Just It's just like if you were to sit down in front of the television and let it think for you. You know, it's sort of an, an easing for you. But there's ways to get past that, y'all, without going back to the same patterns over and over. And therefore, other people can be living on our vibrancy and I can reach out to friends, you know. I need to have that and that's why I keep on trying to help y'all. <laughs> So anyway, it's an empty place. It's the missing of something and the masking of emotions. Emotions of, it could even be joy. Some people eat when they're happy. It could be suppressing of bad emotions. It could be, it's the numbing of something, right? It does really remind me of, also people, they're used to having social gatherings with food. Here's another thing. They don't, they want to allow their self to be excluded. Once they go on this lifestyle, it's like, well, you know, I'm just, um, I'm just different and woe is me. You know, I have to eat this lifestyle. No, you get to eat this lifestyle and you can be a part of things. It's very easy. I do it every day. I don't exclude myself from anyone. I don't crack on their lifestyle and therefore they don't crack on mine. I can go anywhere at any time and do anything and be me. You know, I can have a salad. I can order what I want on it. And furthermore, if I didn't get everything I want on it on my way home, I'll eat this. You see what I'm saying? Maybe I'll have some dried fruit in the car. Maybe I'll have, if you feel like you can't make it without totally being stuffed all the time, then have a plan. That's a backup plan. You know, it's a backup plan of more of what's really on your plan and having it with you all the time. Not, well, my backup plan is this. It's not really optimum for me. I don't really have a plan B because I want to focus on plan A. Plan A is going to get me to point A, which is where I want to be, on top of the mountain. You know? You think, I'm raw vegan, I must be separate from people, you know. Hello, it's my choice. You know, here's the thing. I can eat anything I want to. I can consume anything that you do. But I don't because that's not my choice in life. You know what I'm saying? I have free will and I choose to eat a low-fat raw vegan diet because I choose to be free. 
I choose to be free from the ailments that are going to kill society from the six or seven main big wig things that will take you down just like it has everyone else. Do you think you're excluded for some reason? I don't. From that, I am excluded and I am lifted to freedom through my different lifestyle choices. So you know what? I can choose anything and I choose what I want. That's the mindset that will get you there. It will free you from feeling like you are in some kind of pattern of the temporary. Well, I'm temporarily going to do this till I get my results. If that's your mindset, you're going to fail because you may get the results, but in the end, you will fail again when you go back to the things that got you what you didn't want in the first place. People also eat when they're bored. You know, have a, also a backup plan, speaking of that, of when you're bored. Get up off the couch and do something else. If normally you sit down with your husband who eats, I don't know, a pizza for dinner and then he's washed it down with a six pack of beer and as he burps in between each, uh, he squeezes in some Doritos and you typically partake in that because that's what you do. Okay, don't do that. Let him sit there and enjoy that death on a platter and you get up and do your rebound or put your headphones in and dance. After a while, he's going to want to live on your vibrancy because you are then bringing it to the table and he's going to be afraid what's happening is he. You know what? And if he doesn't, more power to him. Be the best you. Get up and do something different. Don't just eat because you're bored or because you're in that same pattern. You know what I mean? Get an engaging activity, whether it is even, you don't even have to, maybe maybe you're thinking, you know what, Tanya, I work from 6 o'clock in the morning till 8 at night, and I don't feel like exercising. Okay, don't. Lay back on the couch beside him while he's over there on his, his half of the recliner being yours. Lay back, put your ear, earphones in, listen to some motivational speaking, um, listen to some music, close your eyes, and be on vacation for one hour. You know, where you're, and think, think for your, or just silence, just the sounds of nature. You know what I mean? Doing something different. We have got to be focused on something different other than food. This is what people do, it's their recreational activity in this country. Another thing is not to think, okay, well, I've gone on this low-fat raw vegan diet, Tanya, and I've been doing it a month, and guess what? My life's not perfect. All my stress isn't gone. Um, you know, I'm not at my optimum weight. Hello, it took you a whole lifetime to get fat, sick, and lethargic, you know? It's going to take more than a month. It's not a unicorn fairy. It's a raw vegan diet, and what it's going to do is give you clarity so you can think for yourself, so you can want to move, so you can feel like moving, so you can feel like being different. You know, it's a stepping stone. My diet isn't all of me. It's what gives me the nourishment to let me play and do the life I want to have. You know what I mean? If you still allow stress to control you in your life, this is the number one thing I have to manage. You are not going to get the results you want because you can still create sickness and an acidity in your body just by stress alone, you know? So keeping it realistic and realize it's one foot in front of the other, you know? Also, keeping your needs at the forefront. Quit putting yourself at the back so that you continue to not have time for you, not to have time for stress management. You know what? People can wait. You can't be... Also, when you start this lifestyle and you start to succeed, people will want to get on your coattails. And I'll tell you what I've noticed. People that really mean they're going to do it, they're going to quickly jump on. They're going to quickly gain knowledge. And they're going to quickly start to bring something to the table for you so y'all can resonate on the same level. People that just want to ride your coattails and not even learn one thing for their self, they just want you to make them do it. Guess what? They're not going to do it. Be careful of these people. Because you can become the comedian that makes everyone else laugh all day long though loses the laughter in yourself you know that is not I won't let that happen to me so I just wanted to say that to y'all about reasons you could be falling off your raw vegan diet <laughs> see y'all later